Oh, I see this drove now. Good, it's working. Nice. You guys get off here. This is a troop transport. Backpacks are on the plane. Copy on. I'm loading the ATV in the plane. Frank's in. Misha's in. Al's in. Alright, Jeff's in. Uh, like I said, inventory has back parachutes. Be sure you put one on. Got Al Timbers as well. Everybody ready for Halo? Yep. Misha's Go for in. Halo. Oh dear. What was that about? No altimeter, but I'll be okay. Altimeter's in the inventory. Flying at three five zero zero. The ground elevation is approximately five five. How do you turn the Fulton on? While you're looking at the map, do your ACE interaction and it'll say flashlights. Control left window key. There's a switch on the side of it.
Oh well. Uh, your tablet should still work uh, and work better actually. Like we've leveled off and we're heading south now. Uh, take that back. We're turning now. Good news is my tablet's working this time. That's excellent. Final approach now west to east. Thirty seconds. Ramps open. Jumper, stand up. Can you stand up? Stand up. Move to the rear. Move to the rear. Move to the rear. Go, go, go. Frank's out. Mitch is clear. Jeff's out. Mitch is out. Towel's out. Mal's under shoot. Jeff's under shoot. Frank's under shoot. on the ground. You got a strobe, correct? Just strobe. Frank's on the ground. Visual on our vehicle. Close inspection shows it's good to go.
Someone's on the ground. Sit, stand still, Misha. Oh, I got it. Never mind. I see what I did. I'm joining your group. Okay. Al's moving towards the vehicle. Yeah, Jess moving toward the vehicle. Vehicle safely on the ground. Yeah, I kind of had a Armaism as well. Uh, so, stop. Hold on a second. Yeah, some of my latches aren't working here. Stand by. on his way. There, where's Frank? He's right here by the vehicle. Oh, <laughs> Didn't see you there, okay. Al's in. They're by General 35. Frank's in. Alright, moving. Dude, let's take this strobe off. These guys don't have any night vision, do they? Uh, not expected to. Uh, 
Uh, Frank, I've got a couple of hunt IRs if at some point you need them. Yeah, okay. I can give you the uh, tablet for it. Okay. That was my back, Jeff. <laughs> Ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... BMNT. That mean beginning morning nautical twilight means you can tell the you can see the shape of things. See the sky, yeah. yeah, it still looks pretty freaking dark to me, but you're right. The sky in the east is getting very light. rough terrain, this desert terrain. I'm just glad there's not all those rocks like that time we were in Chad. Yeah, that was... Those, those rocks were just impossible.
go allergic to this place. Just don't go to sneeze. Yeah, no kid. Jim, you sure you know where you're going? Forward. End of the line right here. About bloody oh, yeah. time. Yep. Thank goodness. Oh. Alright, now it's covering east. Yep. Let's just got west. west. Okay, Frank's got south. <laughs> so let's uh, guess order of march. We'll go with the uh, column. Uh, I'll take the front. Al, you follow me uh, with the AR. Uh, Misha third and um, Jeff uh, cover our rear. Copy. Copy. No thermal spots north, east, or west. Okay, we'll head uh, uh, northerly direction. I'm going to move out here in a sec. Uh, we're about 700 meters from the uh, Overwatch position. So uh, we'll go uh, walking guns down. Copy, walking gas down. All right, vehicle location mark on the tablet. Right behind you, boss. <clears throat> All right, well, everybody's set up. Uh, prepare to move. Prepare to move. Prepare to move. Let's move. And go that way. <laughs> yeah, one of us should be thermal. I'll stay uh, NVG. Um, Al or Misha, if you can go thermal. Al, thermal. All shades of gray to me, man. Okay, let's go to jogging. Uh, let me know when you guys stand out. Okay, prepare to jog. All right, jog. All right, let's go. Negative. Frank, I can't jog. Roger. We'll stay walking, continuing north northeast. Hold, 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 hold. Contact. Almost directly due north. I got a patrol moving along the top of the ridge line. Okay, I don't see it, but uh, go ahead and let's move uh, northeast to some cover and see uh, if they uh, pass, bypass us. Do you know which way they're going? Yeah, they're moving east. They're just along the edge. They're cresting and then going back down. Okay, I don't see him right now, but okay. Uh, we'll try to avoid them. Uh, again, we'll go move slowly uh, to the north-northeast 
uh, try to put terrain between us. Uh, we'll go crouch at the moment. Hey, Frank, they're moving in the same direction we are, so we either need to cut to the west, northwest, or just uh, hold here for a minute and see what happens. All right, uh, let's go ahead and form a perimeter, just uh, 360 it for now, and uh, I, I don't see anything on my uh, thermals. No, they're on the other side of the ridge line up there right now, but they were moving the same direction we were. All right, Misha's looking south. Just got southwest. Yeah, I'm uh, continuing north northeast here. Yeah, we're about 500 meters uh, south southwest of the uh, Overwatch position. Looks like uh, they might be on the other side of this ridge that Al was talking about, which is directly to our north. Frank, I think if we cut 300 right now and then move along the just below the ridge line, we should go behind them. Okay, basically uh, north northwest. Yep. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, prepare to move. We'll be walking pace, guns up north northwest on your mark okay prepare to move move Frank, I counted a total of three that I saw cresting, so I don't know how many there are in that group. Yeah, uh, when we get uh, on the reverse side of the slope, uh, we'll uh, creep up and see if we can peek over it and see if, how many there are. Yeah, we do need to try to get in place before it gets daylight. Yeah, roger. You guys, uh, make sure you have your suppressors on if you haven't got them on yet. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit more northerly now uh, to get around the uh, east side of this uh, high-rise knoll. Get us a little closer to our overwatch. Spots in the uh, compound ahead of us, northeast. Yeah, copy. Yep, I see the patrol that Al was talking about. Uh, directly east, uh, northeast, I see two guys. Yeah, we also have uh, thermal goats near them. Uh, I just saw a third guy pop up. All right, we'll continue to move uh, east, northeast, real slow. And uh, go ahead and crouch. Just definitely light out, guys. Control 
Charles moving due north now. Yeah. Uh, head for this high ground here so we can put terrain between us and them. Um, we'll need to reevaluate. The time is growing short here, and we need to get yeah. to our position. The overwatch is to the north, though. This ridge to the north of us. Recommend we push north to that ridge to our north. All right. Well, we can't move any faster than the walk because of uh, uh, Al's load, so we'll continue to look out to our right, to our east. Watch out for any hot spots while we move up north here. You guys go ahead and move on up. We'll catch up. Don't worry about it. Misha, go ahead and double time up there and uh, and see what you can see on the once you crest. Got me fast. And uh, Jeff, keep an eye out to the east. Copy east. Yeah, I don't see any hot spots to the east, which is good. Just goats in that compound to the far east. Yeah. And Al, if you can keep an eye out to the west. Copy. All right, Chris, and the ridge, we're clear west to the next ridge and north to that ridge. I have the compound inside again from up here. And the patrol is uh, going to pass between us and the compound about halfway. Right, and they're heading north, right? They are headed north now. Okay. We're about 200 meters to the overwatch. Do you want me to continue up to the overwatch? Yeah, Misha, go ahead and push on to the overwatch. Okay, we're beginning to crest ourselves here. Yeah, uh... The overwatch is actually uh, at 20 degrees, so we're going to move down. Okay. Go ahead and, uh, yeah. and push on. Um, same with you, Jeff. Uh, push off to his right. And Al and I will uh, will bring up the, the rear. Captain, we ought to be able to just push up to this ridge and then push east down the ridge and be yeah. in position. Yep, I agreed. Yep. Copy. I'll watch east, Al, while you watch west. Okay, I'm turning slightly north northeast here. I have hot spots to our northwest in a compound at the bottom of the next hill. Okay, see if you can identify uh, the compound where Mockingbird is located. Copy. Jeff's going prone at the Overwatch. Compound should be to our north. Yep. All right, northwest, I was picking up uh, hot spots at a uh, little strip mall business. I see some bikes and uh, foot traffic, possibly civilian. I couldn't identify it before I lost it. Okay, I see the compound off to our northeast there with hot spots. We got close. Break, break, break. We got dudes close behind us. About uh, two, two, probably uh, stand by. Let me take a look. No, I see a bunch of goats. Okay, disregard. Yeah, they crashed their sheep. All right, continue. Sorry. Okay, Al, let's stay on the uh, reverse side of this crest here and move east until we're uh, just uh, south of the uh, overwatch position. Copy, stand by. 
Yeah, Jeff and Misha, whoever's the uh, on the easternmost uh, end between you two, keep a lookout to the uh, east northeast for hot spots on that uh, compound. Copy yeah, that would be Jeff. Uh, Misha's watching out to the west now. We got a number of goats. We got a two man patrol directly no uh, directly west of us, 300 meters moving south, so they're going to come around behind us. You want me to set up here and be ready for them? I got the goats. Now come on up uh, here and, and consolidate, and then uh, we'll set up uh, fields of fire for you. Yeah, the target compound is due north. Uh, the compound to the east, 058. I see one armed contact. All right, we have advisor. There's a shepherd with the goats. I'm coming up to you there, Jeff. Uh, we Drop. have a group of... Uh, Possibly civilians in a camp 300 meters, 300 azimuth, 130 meters. The only weapon I see is an AT4 on one of them. Okay, I compounds in sight. Um, Al, see if you can look for a position up here on this high ground uh, for you to set up at. Uh, stand by for direction. Misha and Jeff, wh which cluster of hotspots is the most threatening uh, from this position? Uh, west, it's only 130 meters to the two guys I see at the base of the hill. So, Al, go ahead and uh, co-locate with Misha and find yourself a good position to cover that threat. Moving. Yeah, I've got eyes on at least three armed, uh, I guess, guards on top of the buildings. Uh, four, correction, four. You mean right by the burn barrel? Uh, I see one armed by the burn barrel, two yeah. armed by the burn barrel. There's one further to the east on the building close to us. Okay, there's a guy walking. Um, okay, I see three guys on, on, the, on the rooftop. His, one of them is his back to us, and then two of them are armed. So I'm looking to see where Mockingbird is. If anybody sees them, go ahead and get on the line and, and let us know. Misha, all I'm seeing is a three-man patrol walking through. Okay, I see those other guys now. Yeah, shift shift a little bit to the right in this and see them. I see the guys around the fire. Yep, that's what I was concerned about. They're, they're stuck. There. Trying to find a place like yeah, Jeff, we might have to down. we might have to go down there and ferret this guy out if we don't bag. we don't see him. I'll, I'll pick it up. The hell is that? Okay, there are civilians in that compound. Uh, they're unarmed. The hell just happened? All right, something. I got, I'm tracking the three-man patrol walking. I see the, I still have the campsite in view. Yep. So those are the guys to keep an eye on. The three-man patrol uh, is moving away at this point. I'm gonna go see if I can reacquire that other patrol that was uh, west of us. All right, I'm gonna okay, I'm putting uh, marks on the map of where I think the guys are at, so you guys have SA. Okay, we've got a patrol coming back towards us down the road, directly below us, due west. Yeah, Roger. So, uh, stay uh, stealthy.
Misha, can you hear me? Yes. What's the range for that encampment? Stand by, I'll get it. Uh, I think it's 130 meters. But you're shooting down an awful lot, so. Okay, I see a dude with a fuzzy hat. He's outside, but his back is to us. I can't tell if that's him or not. I'm going to verify. Okay, Jeff, uh, azimuth 354 from our position. He's uh, next to a tin fence. His back is to us. Yeah, confirm. That's him. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, let me know what your situation is before I take this shot. Now set covering the encampment to the west. We should set covering our rear south. Jeff, you good? Yeah, I've got some weeds in the way here. I'm going to see if I can get a higher position. This is definitely the guy, though. I can confirm that one guy is a hostile. He's got looks like an ATGM or something with him. Yeah, that's what I saw. I didn't see any rifle, but uh, that, I did see that rocket launcher. Frank, you see that? Uh, sorry, my mic was off. Um, I think that guy's wearing a turban. No, he's not wearing. He's wearing one of those. Uh, uh, looks like an army flap cap, but it looks like that Russian cap that you were talking about that I saw in the picture. Now I lost him. Right, right. Uh, patrol moving behind us, 300 meters away, moving uh, southeast at this time. There are no threat, but we don't want to spring the trigger now. What's your azimuth of this guy, Frank? 354. Next to the tin? There, there's a tin fence. Right. He's just decided the tin fence, his back is to us. Yeah, to me, that guy's wearing a turban. I don't... Okay, well, I, I mean, you'll see it. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know why it would pick a turban for you and, and it would pick this hat for me unless it's randomized somehow, depending on... That's weird. Watch for immersion. <laughs> okay. Is he 161 meters? Do you have a rangefinder? 160 one, one, here. Same yeah, guy. I believe that is not our contact. Okay, well, he's got the hat that you were saying. That's why I mentioned that. All right, we'll look look again. Look elsewhere. And it's yeah, three man patrol moving uh, east to west through the compound. Well, those guys on the on the roof are definitely not him. There's a bunch of armed guys. Yeah, that patrol is moving uh, away from us at this point, northwest, um, in the compound. Uh, the patrol to our rear, south of us, moving east at this time, 
eighty to two hundred meters moving away. Okay. Yeah, the patrol that was moving uh, west through the compound is now moving south down the MSR. Contact. They're moving along the uh, MSR. I got them in sight. Yeah, we're 130 meters away uh, from the closest target from where we're located. <clears throat> I'm, I'm following those guys on the, the foot patrol, not not the camp right now. Are they, are they on the MSR? Yeah, I see them. You want to see if you can drop one of those backpacks? Yeah, I was going to say, Al needs to drop some ammo so that when we do this, we can move quick. Yep, Roger. Stand by. Okay, guys, uh, well, we're not going to do anything while we're sitting up here. We're not going to ferret this guy out from up here. So well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to uh, systematically take out any armed guys up there and then move down and infiltrate and do a house-to-house -house search. Tell me what your situation is uh, with regard to what you see, and then let me know when you're ready to execute. All right, Al's covering. I still got, I'm watching that three-man patrol move. It's moving uh, southwest on the MSR right now. All right, Misha's uh, three-man team is now turned, and they are moving north. They're approximately 250 meters southeast of us. Okay, uh, I'm not exactly sure how to prosecute this. Uh, I guess there's a, the best time to do this would be when everybody's heading away from. All right, 15 minutes later, let's look reevaluate the situation here. Misha has no targets. Misha, Al's Misha. All right, I got a bicyclist heading uh, west on the MSR, and I've got the uh, encampment that is directly below us to the west. Okay, I still uh, have Misha. a bad guy on the, on the roof. I got a contact moving east to west through the compound. Looks like it could be our guy. Misha has a, a three-man team east of us, 250 meters, moving north. Contact's moving east to west under those uh, canopies. Okay, looking. <coughs> there he is. West side of compound now. Got an unarmed guy moving towards the encampment uh, from the north, moving south. Looks like he's moving into the uh, mosque. All right. Does he have the uh, light-colored hat? Affirmative. Okay. That's the that's the building that he's in. That that's one we're gonna go for. Um, uh, I think we're gonna have to. Damn, I hate to do this, because there's at least three guys between us and that building right now. Oh, he's coming back Contact's out. On the move. All right, cover your sectors. I'm going to try to take a shot. Ready. I'll back you up. He's just set. Hal set. I saw a blood mist. But he's uh, uh, behind the tree for me now. Taking out contacts. He 
Vicious team is uh, unalerted and continuing on. I'm not engaging. Okay. Nothing. Go ahead and uh, continue to observe. Uh, as long as we're not alerted. Engaging contact. Still clear west. It's clear east. Uh, they have turned north though and are heading towards the compound. Okay, I've got a three man team that's moving from the north uh, about 500 meters away. They're, they disappeared below the ridge line, but they are break. 310 from us. They were moving quickly. Away or towards us? Towards us. I'm also observing a, a group of men, probably at least a fire team, moving from north to south towards the MSR. Okay. We've got vehicles coming in down the MSR. Has the target been prosecuted? Unconfirmed at this point. Uh, I saw blood mist. But uh, he went down behind the trees. It's going to get busy around here. All right, what do you want to do, right, Frank? we got people starting to curl in on us. All right, I'm moving to your position. Stand by. Okay, I got a vehicle. Okay, they're coming right at us, Frank. I got at least four dudes coming right at the left. All right, go ahead and uh, egress to the south. On the other side of the ridge. All right, I'll cover. Go. Al's moving. Yeah, just wounded. Hang on. Their guns up. All right, stand by. They're not. They're turning away. They're now heading south. Yeah, I'm going to need to be stitched before we can move quick. Suggest we hold here for now. They're heading uh, south. Up the ridge. Where's the fire? I've got a second team north of us, high speed, heading in this direction on foot. All right. We've got nothing but open right. rolling behind us. Unit check. Al Green Green. Yeah, Jeff, green. Frank's hit. Misha, I'm coming back. We're going to fight. Yep, copy. Engage your targets out on the MSR. I was moving behind the tree here. Range to MSR. 350. Correction, 230. Where are they? Uh, in the trees south of the building complex. Okay, uh, where are the targets at on the vehicle, uh, on the MSR, west or east? Okay, got quiet. Squad check. Ciao, green, green, yellow, green. Misha? Misha's wounded. Uh, Misha's hit, but I'm engaging now with uh, grenades. Got a vehicle with a gun. Misha, pull back. Misha's down. Okay, pull back on the reverse side of the slope when you can.
drag people back on the reverse side of the slope. Squad check. Hang on, Misha. I'm going to drag you. I can't drag you, Misha. I'm going to try to stabilize you and get everybody else. I can't... I can't pick them up. I can't pick you up, Misha. My only choice is to drag you. Dragging doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to get killed here, and I can't drag you either, Al. I can't pick you up, and I can't drag you. Game over.